It's a weird place to do a video. It's super weird, it's kind of creepy in here. It's gonna bang. Nailed it. Today's gonna be a little bit different because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. And when that happens, he turns into a baby. I'm not a baby, I just don't feel good. It's a big baby. So at the top of our vote page was the five dumbest money mistakes. So I started outlining that one to do today and um, came up with things like, you know, uh, payday loans and co-signing on notes and playing the lottery, kind of stuff like that. Um, but then realized that those were just kind of like clickbait kind of stuff. I didn't want to make that video. That was a dumb video to make. But all of those little symptoms kind of led to a deeper rooted like mindset that people have with money. So instead of the five dumbest money mistakes, we're going to do the four money mindsets that will keep you broke. So here it comes. Money mindsets. You had to do that? All right. Number one is the how much per month mentality. As the saying goes, wealthy people don't ask how much per month, they just ask, how much? If you're considering buying a piece of furniture, a computer, or even gasp, a car, and asking how much it's going to be per month, you probably can't afford it. The solution is to start saving up for the things you want to buy and negotiate a lower fixed total cost. Not get suckered into lowering your monthly payments by manipulating the interest rates and the terms of the loan. The second money mindset mistake is gambling your future. And I don't just mean playing the lottery, although it should go without saying that playing the lottery is not a retirement plan. This is the mindset of passing off your financial future to someone else just because you don't wanna deal with it. Uh, that someone might be the government or your employer or even your stockbroker or something like that. If you wanna wake up one day wealthy, you can't just sit back and hope that someone else is taking care of it for you. Of course, when things don't turn out all peachy, we tend to fall into money mindset number three and blame someone else. We hear it constantly all around us. The government, our employers, the economy, our parents. It's all good reason to pass the buck. I deserve that promotion. If I had gotten it, I wouldn't be in this situation. Mm. 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 No, if you had got that promotion, you'd be in the exact same situation that you're in now, except with an extra zero at the end of the balance. Learn to get upset about the things that are in your control, like your spending, not those that are outside your control, like the economy or your upbringing. We've saved the worst for last, and that is ignoring that you have a money problem at all. If you're in debt and you bury your head in the sand, that doesn't mean it's gonna go away. At the very least, you you need to get everything written down and in front of your face. Just look at it and face it. And uh, that's gonna be difficult to do. You're gonna have to call all of your credit cards and banks and loans and everything. They're not gonna make it easy for you to find this information. But you need to get it in front of you and you need to face it head on and then start working your way through a book like The Total Money Makeover to get yourself out of debt. So let's think of something positive. Um, well, the positive thing is, even if you've thought about money a certain way your entire life, you can change it in an instant. You can start thinking about the total cost of things. You can stop blaming others for your money mistakes. Uh, you can get in control of your own finances. The important thing to remember is that money is just a tool and that it can either be a source of security or it can be a source of ruin. So you get to decide and I think that's it. I think we'll wrap it up with that. We'll wrap it up with that, but now we wanna hear from you. Are there any other money mindset mistakes that we missed? What are some like thinking about money ways that we missed? And let us know in the comments below. Is that it? I think so. All right, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye. See you Sunday.